I came back on Monday, right? So I had some time to read. Uh, and I brought this book, old bookish. It's the, called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And I brought the book with me. No, yeah. it's not a promotion. <laughs> it's not a pure thing. Yeah, but I brought it because I wanted to just read a little thing because this was so helpful for me. Like, because it's, um, I personally tend to never be satisfied and I always strive for more. Like, I'm never really like, yeah, I'm, this is good. Like, I always feel like, and then this thing, you know, there's always that. And uh, being hard on yourself and like all these things and having a lot of expectations, etc. So I read this book and I don't know if you read it. No, it's um, basically about turning negative things in your, to your life into something positive and focus on them rather than... I definitely should read that. <laughs> it's really good. And I was like, this, this is actually really helpful. So for example, like, I think this is a really good thing. It says, the desire for more positive experience is itself a negative experience. And paradoxically, the acceptance of one's negative experience is itself a positive experience. And I find that really interesting because the striving for always wanting something more it means you, never means get you it. don't have it. So that in itself, is kind of a negative experience to be like, I really want that job or like, I'm really going to do that because I'm not doing it right now or I don't have that right now. Whereas maybe accepting that you don't have something or you're okay where you are, like the acceptance of, of the lack of something is in itself freeing and a positive thing mm -hmm. it's a bit you need to kind of read a book to get around this no, it but makes sense it makes sense to a degree <laughs> i like it, it i would say it's more like you need that's like you need to read the book to kind mm -hmm. of get ahead of it because it's not about like don't have any dreams don't have any goals like there is still obviously you need to mm. to proceed in life you need some kind of goals but that was sorry i'm gonna read another thing because yeah. was, that was another thing that really stuck out to me is like Basically, because the question, what do you want out of life? Or maybe, what do you want? What's your dream job? Like, you know, all these things that we get questioned mm -hmm. all the time. And we always think about, well, this is what I'm reaching for. This is my goals. Like, that's our society, right? We always feel that we should want the, the best for us, the most things. And actually, if you ask yourself instead, what pain do you want in your life? Or what are you willing to struggle for? That's more the real answer. because. Mm -hmm. A lot of people might be saying, I want to be an actor. I want to be a movie star, let's say. And then they don't realize the struggle. Mm -hmm. And the only way that you get to a goal is through the struggle. And the only way that you actually feel happy at the end of it is if you had a struggle. Because like, it's like if somebody just gives you money out of the blue when you're born with money, you're not going to be happy that you have money. But if because you, you will not understand the difference, basically. Exactly. Yeah. And like, so all happiness kind of stems from a struggle, like a journey, mm -hmm. in a way. Like, that's just how we feel satisfied as humans, basically, because yes. of our brains, how they work. Um, so knowing that everything comes with a struggle and navigate what are the struggles that you're okay with might be better way to actually lead you to what you should focus on and what you want. Because it comes with everything. Even like, I want to have a relationship, but then it's like, what's the struggle for a relationship? What do I need to, you know, sacrifice? Or mm -hmm. And like, the struggles that you choose in life, it's probably better to choose them rather than your goals. Because the struggles, they will always be there and they will lead you to the goal mm -hmm. um, in a way. So to, to like figure out those, I think can be really helpful. And like kind of be up for them because they will all they will always come with them and it's quite yeah. good to be like i'm prepared for this i'm okay with this mm. and yeah. yeah anyway i think if you read the book it makes more sense no it, it does make sense honestly it does make sense but i i as i uh understand the book elaborates on it even more mm -hmm. and explains more yes yes i love it <laughs>